G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I've got something pretty neat today to review and check out. This is a little submarine camera boat, okay, and it's made from a company called Happy Cow. And this is called the Ray's iSpy Toys App Controlled Wireless Spy Boat here, as you can see. And uh, this does not have a transmitter. This is solely uh, controlled via your Android device or iOS phone or tablet, okay? So we're gonna uh, be controlling this just via the Wi-Fi. Now they do state that this little uh, boat has about 15 minutes of runtime, okay? It's only got a small uh, 3.7 volt one cell battery in it. It's uh, only a 250 milliamp hour. And I purchased this from AliExpress for $28 Australian. So you could figure that to be around $20 American. So relatively cheap. And I'm really looking forward to actually testing this out and having a look and explore underwater out here at the pond. See uh, what sort of footage we can get out of this. So let me just take it out of the box quickly. I'll show you what we get. Okay, so here is the little boat itself. Okay, as you can see, it's called the Rays because it's the shape of a stingray, okay? You've got a dome on the top, which houses the electronics. I can see there's the actual uh, control board with the antenna, and underneath, we have the little camera here, okay? And this actually tilts up and down, and it's got a really bright LED light, and it's really bright, especially at night, guys. Uh, the little LED here, it's only tiny, but it, it does uh, actually shine quite a bit of light. So uh, this camera here, you probably can't see it too well, but the camera in that dome there uh, looks to be possibly a 720p camera, okay, from what I could see at home. It has two little brushed motors here, little thrusters, okay, so they're little brushed motors. There's a bit of venting underneath. Now this is fully waterproof. So the water will indeed get through those vents, okay? When I pulled it out of the water at home just to test it out to see if it was working fine, there was water coming out of these vents, but you know, that doesn't matter. It is fully waterproof, okay? So yeah, there it is there, guys. Pretty cool in its design. And uh, like I mentioned at the start, uh, they do state on the listing that it is uh, 15 minutes worth of runtime out of the little battery that's uh, inbuilt, okay? Now to charge that battery up, we get a little USB charger here for one cell battery. It's got this little plug here, which you just put in the top of the boat and just plug it in, okay? And put it into your USB uh, power bank or you could even uh, charge this up on a computer or even a power brick. And last but not least, we have a little instruction booklet here. As you can see, you've got a QR code that you can scan or download it on the App Store or Google Play. Just type in I Spy Toys. That's what I did. So, and there is the uh, icon that you want to look for on the App Store, I Spy Toys. It looks like they've got three different models there. A plane, a exploration car, and a modular boat, which is what we've got here. All right, so a bit of an outlay of the app and its features. Okay, so there's nothing really to it, guys. It's very simple. Is control so we're going to take it out now and uh, put it in the pond and see how this works guys I'm really looking forward to actually taking it out and seeing what's uh, under the water here at the pond all right so let's head over there now and uh, get into it have some fun with this Ray's I spy boat I've got the little uh, Ray's boat in the water now and you probably see that we've got the FPV view here uh, you have to put the boat in the water, of course, to uh, get the Wi-Fi to work, and then you just connect to it. All right, so I'm going to do a screen recording so you can see closely the app. Let's make sure I've got the microphone on. Yep, start recording. Three, two, one. All right, there we go. So you can control the uh, tilt of the camera down and back up. And we've got our virtual sticks here. So I'm going to start a recording. As you can see, very responsive. And we've got about 15 meters of range they state. So I don't want to take it out too far. We do have a Wi-Fi indicator there on the right hand top of the screen and a battery indicator as well. 
It's a bit murky, the water, as you can see. I'll just tilt the camera down. Yeah, pretty cool concept. <laughs> Bring it back this way. Put the camera up. Let's see what's over here. The water is a bit murky. I'm actually on the clean side of the pond. Over the other side, it's a little bit uh, more dirty with the algae. It's very responsive uh, on the controls. Back towards me. got a really bright LED light too there we go yeah it looks pretty cool uh, looks like the the ducks and the coots are pretty con <laughs> pretty curious about it so for 20 bucks <clears throat> US pretty cool little toy probably take this uh, if you go fishing just throw it out the side of your boat and uh, have a look around see if you're in a good area for fishing or if you're fishing for squid shrimp prawns look at that awesome now I've gone to the shadier area so the uh, light is lighting up underneath here The water is a little bit murky here at the pond, but like I said, this is the cleanest side of the pond. I walked around there and it's uh, much worse than this. At least we've got some fairly clean water here. Hey, this is pretty cool. Bring the camera up. Avoid those little reeds. Let me just bring it in. I think maybe one of the motors has got something twined in it because it wants to pull left all the time. Yeah, we had all this uh, algae here. All right, we're back in action. Okay, so you can actually control this with your gyro function here. So let's try that out, that icon in the middle. All right, so might have to, yep, turn that on. You can actually control it, tilting your phone. Look at that, go forward. The only thing is you can't see You have to have your phone pretty flat to see what's going on on the camera. That works. Works quite well actually. Tilt the phone. Turn it around. Forward. Straighten your phone up and go back. See that? Okay, so I might get out of that and just control it with the sticks again. That way I can look down at the phone and see where I'm going properly. Now I've got the camera facing up. You can actually see at the top of the screen the actual surface of the water. It's basically got a 90 degree tilt that's all the way down.
See, I think it's pretty cool. It looks to me that it is 720p. And for 20 bucks, US, it's a lot of fun. You only get about 15 minutes of run time with it as well. The camera is slightly up. You can see more if I tilt it down. All right, let's stop that recording. Take a couple of photos. Coming to shore a bit more. Take a photo as I go. So yeah, even if you've uh, may, maybe lost something in the water, you could uh, throw this down into the uh, water and uh, have a bit of an explore. <laughs> it's basically like having one of these uh, water drones that uh, cost thousands of dollars, except this is a, like a little toy grade version of it. Okay guys, I might leave it at that. It gives you a bit of a demo. Check out that bright light, see that? Um, that's what lights up underneath the water there. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad little camera on this uh, little boat. It's not too bad, it looks like it's 720p. And it's great that you can actually you know, capture images as well as a bit of video there underneath the water down at the uh, local lake or pond like this. So anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this review on the little Ray's camera submarine boat. I think for 20 bucks, it's a lot of fun guys, okay? Uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit of algae just twined on both propellers now. It was able to make it in. Um, so yeah, you just gotta be mindful of that. So yeah, just uh, clean them out of course, uh, every time you take it out and you should be good to go every time. So yeah. Pretty impressive little uh, $20 little boat here with the added camera. Um, something different, that's for sure. Uh, hopefully uh, some of these companies take this sort of uh, idea on board and maybe we'll see some more boats like this uh, released in the future. That would be awesome, especially on a bigger scale. Uh, if this was on a bigger scale, that would be absolutely awesome with uh, maybe a TX as well, a, a remote control. That way you can take it out a lot further because I'm touching the sensors on the bottom here, the light came back on. So. so anyway guys, if you want to pick up one of these fun little watercrafts yourself, I'll leave a link to where I purchased mine from on AliExpress. Like I said, it was only $28 Australian. It came in the mail really fast, only 11 days guys, so under two weeks. Pretty sure this vendor has a 15 day guarantee for, for delivery. So yeah, it came well under that. 11 days guys and I had it from purchasing on the website to my door and testing it out today So check out the link below guys if you want to get one of these This would actually be a great gift for your kids or even for adults, you know um, With Christmas approaching so uh, yeah, they're that cheap You could probably get a couple of these and have a lot of fun with them. All right guys So thanks very much for watching this review if you happen to be new to the channel feel free to subscribe Always great to have you on board and uh, if you do, click that notification bell and that way you'll be informed every time I drop a new RC video. So until next time guys, happy RCing and I'll catch you on the next one.